Hi there guys and welcome to another Red Gaming Tech First Impressions Review with myself, Amata. As you can see this time I'm having a look at a rather interesting game by the name of Party of Sin. I did actually play a little bit of this game, get past the tutorial, but then I decided to crash and not remember my save. So basically I'm going to have to redo stuff that I've already done, but it didn't actually take me that long so it shouldn't be too bad. This is an action adventure game, kind of similar to Trine in that you switch between the different sins using their a different ability abilities to bypass the enemies, puzzles and so on. So it's got a similar idea but obviously with a very different take on the theme, shall we say. At the moment it's 10% off on Steam making it 10.79, but even at full price it's only £11.99 and this was developed as you can see in the bottom right hand corner there, Crankshaft Games. So let's have a look, shall we? Let's get rid of my mouse there because it's being annoying. There we go. skip that. Basically, the sins are imprisoned, but now you have to escape. So, let's move on. As I said, I've already done all of this, so I'm just going to try and blitz through it as quickly as possible. Yes, I know. A is jump the go. As I said, each sin has different abilities. Wrath is what well, he has, basically, a little sort of charging ability. I just fell down there. There we go. I mean... From what I played of the tutorial and stuff, it's a pretty cool game, I like the idea, and switching between characters using different abilities and stuff, obviously it's an idea that's, that works, you know, Tron did it exceptionally well, but the only thing about this is it kind of has a similar problem to the original Trine in that the combat doesn't feel all that good, it just has no impact, no meat to it at all. Um, even playing as Wrath, who you, who you would expect to be a big stompy kind of character, just has no impact on meat to his, any of his attacks. Which is a little bit of a shame. And this should be Greed, I believe. Okay, shortcut is Y. So let's switch to him. Collect the shiny things. Greed is kind of like a grapple, and you can attack as well, but obviously it doesn't do that much damage, so it's not really. I mean, you can what you can do though is gonna be like get over here, and then just be like pew. Can't remember how you switch to wrath though. There we go. I'm using the Xbox pad at the moment, obviously. Oh no, that is not quite what I meant to do. Obviously. I meant to actually, you know, not do that, basically. <laughs> Bitch, please. What I actually meant to do is this. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. I don't know why I released that fella there, but hey ho, what are you gonna do? Come here, bitch. What are you gonna do now, huh? Get beat on, that's what you're gonna do. What you can do is, which is quite cool, is um, let the angels and demons fight each other, basically take each other out for you. And that guy seems to have a little bit of trouble getting up the ladder there. I took care of him. Whoa, there's another one. Um, come on. Uh, we have our good friend Greed over there. Oh, I don't know if I can actually get that apple though. I'm actually doing okay health-wise, but those green apples are like your upgrade points, so... Oh well. Oh, no, I need to switch first. Indeed. So yeah, as I said, it's a similar idea to Trine, but... Um... A little bit different, obviously, a different take, different theme entirely. Graphically, it's not half as impressive, but you can't really com compare it every 
puzzler like this to Trine, that's not really fair, especially in terms of graphics, because Trine and Trine 2 especially were pretty damn awesome in that regard. Come on. There we go. I'm just gonna let them take each other out. Seems fine. Yeah. That's an annoying thing as well. Basically, if you just don't let him finish climbing the ladder, you kind of like, um... What you call it? Um, just, well, falls off. Which is not really that optimal, obviously. Let's get these shinies. There we go. Sure. Had a good sneeze. No, okay, it's gone. Good. You guys do not want to hear me sneeze, I'm sure. Okay, MB has sort of laser pew pew pew, which is pretty cool. She takes too long to kill people with it though, which is the only annoying thing. I can't really get that, can I? Well, I can get the shiny thing, but not the apple apparently, which is kind of sucky. Oh, no. I want to get that though. Cool. Quickly jumped. No. Fail. Music's pretty good as well, actually. I think the main areas where this game falls over is graphics and combat. The graphics don't really matter too much because, well, you don't need extreme graphics to enjoy a game. That's fine. But the combat not being all that meaty does kind of bother me a little bit, to be honest. The original try and had a, the same problem basically. So, yeah, it's a little bit of a shame, but it's not enough to stop the game from being enjoyable. There we go. Level complete. Hooray! We've got three out of four apples, which is good. Yes, the shot. Hmm. I think I'll grab that one. And then go back. And to the next level we go. Hom nom 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 nom. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's actually not quite what I meant to do. Seriously. I hate that. It's very annoying. There we go. Get over here, bitch! Ah. So yeah, you can't really take on massive hordes all that well if you're in the middle, because you just tend to get owned. So it is best just to kind of do what I'm doing, pick off the stragglers, if you will. obviously some areas won't open up until you've gotten rid of everyone. Let's grab that. Always good. Oh, I'm going to take care of this guy. But yeah. There we go. And we're going to grab Pride now. Yep, 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 yep. Indeed. But I don't actually need him yet. I need Wrath. But let's switch to him. There we go. Yeah, I know that already game. Thank you. <gasps> Excuse me. Refrag projectile with sword. Slightly broken English there, but I'll forgive it. It's a small thing. <laughs> Bitch, please. I don't wait for no ladder. Ooh, hello. Come on. There we go. I mean, this game is fun. I just wish the combat had a bit more meat to it. It's my only issue, really. But my Yeah, my only issue graphics are a little bit limited, but that doesn't really matter too much, to be honest. Not to me, anyway. Some people disagree, I'm sure. But it's all a matter of opinion at the end of the day. 
she went to hook him, but whatever, he's dead anyway. Ugh, damn. There we go, I managed to grab it despite hitting my head again. Okay. Let's grab Lost. And we almost have all of the sins, which is good. Her ability is a little bit random, to be honest, but hey ho. Makes sense in a way, I suppose. She also has the seduction thing as that image there is showing, which I will basically enables you to be like pew pew pew. Because I can't remember the shortcuts at the moment, I'm not really uh, taking advantage of it all that well. But no, I'm good. Thank you. And I think we've woken Sloth up, but she looks cute, so her ability is actually pretty damn cool. Obviously she doesn't really have much melee and combat capability. Mm, she does, but obviously she doesn't hit that hard. Um, what's cool though, you don't have to press the button and then do it like you do with some things. You can just throw it and then do it. It's quite cool. Oh, hello. There we go. Slow them down. Take them out. Come here. Where you're going, son? There we go. Nom nom nom. Oh, that's not quite what I meant to do. Right. Let's wait, because otherwise we'll be here all day. By the time I get back up, I should be able to jump on it. Come on. Yep, there we go. Come on! <laughs> Wish you could cancel it, this is annoying. Let's go! Ah, a slightly more complicated puzzle here, but obviously I've already played this, so I don't want to do rough, I think. Roughly, anyway. Actually, let's activate that again. Um, there we go. Bring that out. First, we need the cube. And let us. Mm, no, not you. Yeah. Indeed. Uh. Okay, and then we. Oh, not quite. Let's see if I can. Not. No. There we go. Got it in the end, just about. <laughs> just about got it. And we're suddenly in a very hairy situation here. I'm going to try and take him out. That's cute. Turned him to gold, which is always in there. Let's slow him down a bit though, because he's being a bit of a pain in my ass. There we go. Bitch, beat you with my teddy bear. Don't act like I ain't bro. Oh dear. He's noticed me as well though, which is a little bit irritating. Let's slow him down so I can get closer, I'm just getting completely ravaged. There we go. And pew! Should be able to hit them right. Pew! Haha! <laughs> Fail, bitches. Whoa, okay, he's quick. Uh, 
There we go, managed to get that. I need some health though, so quickly I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna take him out because he's being a bit of a pain. My little friend up there is helping me. Probably not intentionally, but there you go. Let's kill him. He's wronged me. Get the shiners and go go go! And this is basically where I got up to when the game decided to crash on me. So, here we go into uncharted territory. Pew pew. No, I'm pewing really just because I can. Oh, hello. That's not quite what I meant to do, but to choose her. Uh, bitches, get out of my way. Seriously, you're annoying. I meant to slow them both down and then take him out with pride, but it didn't really work. So here we go, just take him out, and I got there in the end. Whoa, hello. Sweet. Oh god, okay, don't, don't, do, don't, don't do that. That's my pro tip for you guys, don't just jump in. Do not just jump in. That's what I just did and it almost ended very badly for me. Luckily I managed to leg it like a little yelly bird coward, but there you go. At least I'm alive, right? Interesting. Is there a certain combination or something? Hmm, that's a bit odd. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I think I know what I need to do. Um, actually, no. Slow. Huh. That's unhelpful. Oh, hello. Got a friend. Hmm. Okay, so we've got the apple, which is all good. But I don't really understand. Ah. It's fairly simple. There we go. Off we go. Hmm. What does this do, I wonder? Feels like it should do something. Need to get gluttony up there somehow. Hmm. What does this actually do? Can't move it apparently. Let's put this back where it was just for a second. No. Hmm. Right, let's press this, see what it does. Ah, interesting. Okay. Actually, I know what I need to do. Do it in stages. Let's get the cube up there. And then... 
Nyup's up there with greed. And there we go, should do it. Hooray! I'm not so bad at puzzles after all, right? Oh my lord, okay. Oh hello, friend. How'd you like some lasers? Take you out. A mess of me. Oh my lord, the balls. This game is actually quite difficult, I have to say, because you can't really take that much damage. I hear the balls is firing that gun. <laughs> How'd you like that bitch? I'm gonna beat you with my coin thing here, just because I can. Oh no! Damn, this bit is actually pretty damn hectic. Stop throwing things at me, bro, it's not cool. Why can't I get under there? Okay, I'm spazzing out now. I'm probably gonna die. Oh no, get the health! Cool. Whew, that was actually kind of intense. Alright, let's sort this out now. But I need a... Hmm. How the fuck... Hmm. I need to get the cube over there, obviously. If I can just get Gluttony up here with the cube, it's okay, but... How do I do that? Let me try something real quick. I'm gonna see if you can even get on that little platform thing without the cube. Yeah, you can. Okay. But how the fuck are you supposed to get... Jump up... Make it with Lost, jump up there with Gluttony... Then you can't change the pride to actually make the jump because you'll drop the cube. Okay. Hmm. Probably overcomplicating this so 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 much. Yes, indeed. Okay, let's tr see if I can make it. No. Shit. Telling me I can't duck, really. Oh no, I can, apparently. Don't know how I actually did that. I can just. I can't move while ducking. That, 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 that's just. Nah. don't know what to do here. Because I can get that up there, that's not a problem, but... I can't... Hmm, actually... <laughs> that's one way to do it, there we go. Cool. <laughs> I knew I was over complicating it. Yeah. 
Ooh, okay. This might be interesting. Yay! Free stuff. Ooh, hello. Oh my god. I'm not on a oh, damn, okay. I'm gonna change the pride. Okay, I managed to get past that one bit, which is good, but, you know... Hooray! <laughs> Just don't die now, basically. Really, you're going to tap me one on the ladder and, yeah, I can't do shit. Amazing! Alright, let's see how far I can get and then maybe call it after that. Now, oh, of course, I need to switch to Pride and dive again. Easy. Oh, no, I want that apples. No. I can't. There we go. Damn, I'm almost dead. Go back, 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 back. Okay, health. Yay. Just what I wanted. All I want for Christmas is health. Please stop shooting me. I don't appreciate it. Especially when it's on a ladder and I can't defend myself, it's really not appreciated. Cool. I use pride the most, apparently. I missed all the green apples, though. Wow. <laughs> anyway, I think that's a good place to call this first impressions review. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, I actually think this game's pretty fun, despite its problems. The main issue being, as I said, the um, slightly anemic combat. It just doesn't have any meat or impact to it, and that's my main issue, really, because, well, you know, it'd be nice if it actually felt satisfying to kill enemies, and it doesn't, really. The only Well, you get satisfaction, but only because there's so many of them, the game is actually quite difficult, especially considering that you're playing as the Seven Deadly Sins, who you thought might actually be quite overpowered, or maybe that's just because I watched too much Fallout Alchemist, I don't know. Anyway, um, personally, I think if this game goes on a sale, it's definitely worth the money. I don't know about full price, but it's definitely fun if you like this sort of platformy puzzler kind of thing. I say check it out. It's Like I said, it's kind of similar to Trine, but not quite as well executed. So maybe check it out if you're into this sort of thing. I personally did enjoy it, despite its problems. So, yes. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you again next time.